Well, hello, Memorial, and welcome to this midweek reflection. I hope that you're doing well this week. My first question for you, which is following up from my sermon on Sunday, is have you talked to your neighbor yet? Or have you engaged with them in some meaningful way? I'll admit that I am still needing to find a spot to go and ring the doorbell and be brave. And so if you haven't done it yet, neither have I. And so we have a chance to do that together. Let me embolden you in that space. I think it would be very, very challenging, but also very enriching for us to get to know the people in our community. You heard this story in my sermon on Sunday about Sophie Hopke and John Wesley, and I actually had a few of you come up to me after and just say, wow, that story really made me want to learn more about Wesley and about Methodist history, and I think that's fabulous. So I want to encourage you on that journey, and you can come to me. I can give you some resources. I want to share another story that is attributed to John Wesley so that you can hear a little bit about what we're going into this next week. This next week in our Wesleyan Rooted study in our series is um, Embrace Widely. And so I want you to think what that might mean when you hear those words. And so there's this story where John Wesley, he's on the road. If you didn't know, um, part of what makes us Methodists is this idea of itinerancy. So John Wesley, he was a traveling preacher. He would go on horseback. He traveled over about 120,000 miles on horseback. And there's this story where John is traveling on the road and he's, uh, he's approached by a highwayman. Now a highwayman is kind of like a robber, someone that, that jumps out on the highway and approaches him and puts a gun up to him and threatens him and says, give me all that you have. And John Wesley hands over his wallet, and he's probably not got a lot in it, but he hands over his wallet, and then as he's leaving on his way, he says, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from sin. And this, he goes on his way. Well, later in another time when he is preaching and has completed a sermon, a man approaches him and says, do you remember me? And John Wesley says, I do. And it's that man and that man says the words that you spoke to me on that highway that day changed my life and now i am forever moving to read the scripture and preach the gospel and so when we think of embracing widely we have to remember that the words that we say and the people we encounter they may not be people that we would ever think would be in the church, but that is not for us to decide. And so what we can do is we can share the love of Christ and we can tell people the good news of what Christ has done for us and know that God's grace is what will transform their hearts and we can have that hope. And so when we talk about embracing widely, we do that with everyone that we encounter, knowing that God is working in everyone. So carry that with you, carry that story with you um, as you encounter people this week. Be well. <music>